Prince Philip was expected to take part in crisis talks taking place at Sandringham between Prince Harry and senior royals, Omid Scobie and Carolyn Durand have claimed in their upcoming book Finding Freedom. However, the Duke of Edinburgh was spotted leaving Sandringham House, where the summit took place, on the eve of the talks that would eventually reshape the royal family. In a much-publicized new book called Finding Freedom Mr. Scobie and Mr. Rand wrote, Harry was facing the Queen, Charles, and William for the first time since he and Meghan had released their full plans to step away from their official roles in the royal family to the world. Although Prince Philip had been expected to participate in the meeting, he left for his farmhouse located on the estate shortly before discussions got underway. During the morning of January 13, the Duke of Edinburgh was photographed sitting in the passenger seat as he was being driven away from the Queen's residence in Norfolk. Prince Philip is said to have had an explosive reaction to the announcement made by Meghan and Harry on the evening of January 8. The Mail Online claimed at the time the furious Duke shouted what the hell are they playing yet? Another source told, the son Prince Philip's upset was partly caused by how hurt the Queen looked by Meghan and Harry's move. The source said, to say that the Duke feels let down would be a considerable understatement. A lot of Philip's anger comes from seeing Her Majesty upset. Finding Freedom, which will be available to the public next month, lays bare the impact Meghan and Prince Harry's bombshell statement and the launch of their website in which they detailed how they would move forward from their status of senior royals had on the Queen and her husband of 74 years. The book read, the aides, including the Queen's private secretary, Edward Young, were furious. The private offices don't like that type of behavior, a source familiar with the negotiations said. It is deeply unhealthy and unwelcome. More unsettling, however, was the reaction from the family to the website they had launched. The element of surprise, the blindsiding of the Queen, for the other principals who are all very mindful of this, rightfully, it was deeply upsetting according to a senior member of the household. Several in the family shared that both the Queen and Prince Philip were devastated. The book claims the Queen and Prince Charles had been informed about Meghan and Harry's desire to spend more time abroad in an email the Duke of Sussex had sent them before leaving for Canada in mid-November. But fears the Sussex's plans would be leaked to the press forced Meghan and Harry to issue a statement and get hold of the narrative of their exit from the royal family before meaningful discussions with the Queen could take place, the royal authors added. Prince Harry and Meghan announced to the world their decision to step down as senior royals and carve out a new progressive role in January. This position as part-time working royal would have given them the privilege to continue to represent the Queen but also the opportunity to pursue new profitable ventures. During the summit in Sandringham, the Queen and her aides ruled out the possibility to allow Meghan and Harry to remain working royals while also gaining a wage of their own.